welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little project here um, using in love art products so I showed you in a video of mine I will put a card up there in the corner um, what I got from them and I have been playing around oh my god took me so many hours <laughs> um, I will tell you that my project is not finished but I finished a part of it that I wanted to use um, the paper on so I'm gonna share this and once I finish another part I'll share that because I'm afraid that um, I might not finish <laughs> you know I have unfinished projects and I cannot make videos because I always wait to finish them and um, I don't do it I get bored really easily so I do a little bit here and then I go to another project and do a little bit there and you know mm, excuses we all have them don't we so I got this really pretty paper I'm loving this it's called love forever and I will have the links in the description down below if you want to check it out. But I showed this in my haul. So if you want to look through, like I said, um, there was a card up there. However, loving this, loving this, loving this. And I used two pieces of paper from this for now. <laughs> so those two, and I will be using more and, um, of course, sharing with you more. But I just wanted to show you that the papers are really pretty. I'm liking those. So let me show you what I made. Um, I used also this die, but I will show you what I used out of that. And I was making a tag with the Julie Netting doll. And I was going for shabby chic. Now, most of you know, I don't do shabby chic. <laughs> So why did I decide to do that? I don't know. <laughs> After an hour or so, or even two, I was like, why did I pick Shabby Chic? <laughs> why am I always picking something hard? I should do something easy peasy, you know? <laughs> but it took me, I think, five hours, four at least, to do that because we have done it on happy race channel on a live stream so if you want to watch that i will put a card up there or link it in the description i'm not sure how that works but we did it on a live stream and it took many 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 hours to get here so as you can see there is the paper i was talking about that's this one and um it doesn't look like this one anymore <laughs> does it one thing I was thinking as well was, why am I making an eight inch tag when I have a six by six piece of paper? I do not know. <laughs> so it was too short, of course. So what I did was, because I knew the girl was going to go there, um, I did put two pieces here together and I put a little bit of cheesecloth on there in case it would be visible, you know? I was just, okay, let's just, you know pretend like that never happened <laughs> so what i did was i distressed the paper of course with the distressor this one happens to be tim holtz but there are different ones out there i distressed the edges and then i ripped them and then i distressed it with the distress ink as well then i sprayed it and then i crumpled it you know so i get this I sprayed it so it's wet and, um, you know, you can crumple it up really good once it's wet. And then you get this texture, like it's very old. Do you see that? It's it's very old and dripped. And I ripped it on purpose on a couple uh, spots. That's all I have seen in videos because I do watch videos and I do see people work. I just never try myself. So everything I knew in my brain, I tried to use. And then I went with the distressing pad once again over it to, you know, make the wrinkles um, stand up more, I guess, or stand out more. And yeah, so there's the paper I used for that. And um, I also used the other paper with the roses right here. I used on her dress, but I stickled it as you can see or not. I'm not sure if the cam picks it up, but it's all stickled. And I also distressed it and did stuff to it. So it doesn't really look like this paper anymore, but it is, trust me. And I made a little dress for her for the first time once again i used such a big piece of um fabric and happy ray sent it to me thank you so much i used this and underneath i just layered um some tool 
so it's kind of two layers i guess and i put like this pretty pearls on there and on her dress and on her shoes and all around here and then i have some dangling here i i did make my um flower cluster there first of all i was thinking to put the girl here and the flower cluster here but somehow this is not what i had in my brain at all maybe that's why it took so long because I was imagining one thing and I ended up completely different, guys, <laughs> completely. I started putting stuff on there and I have some lace around it and some cheesecloth right here and, you know, pearls. And I was just gluing stuff on top of stuff. This cheesecloth is so pretty. And whoever did that, I have never seen this before. But you know how the flowers have the metal things? If you just roll them over um, toothpick you will get really pretty metal accent in there so I was like okay that's cool and then I picked this up at Joanne's on the floor you know they had leftover flowers <laughs> laying around on the floor of course I asked if I can have those because if people buy flowers sometimes stuff falls off and it's on the floor and they just toss it so I went there and I was picking up stuff <laughs> I have a basket full of stuff <laughs> from Joanne's floor <laughs> So yeah, that's how I am. And those are the flowers from um, AliExpress I showed you in another hole. If I find it, I will put the um, card up there. So that's the part of my half finished project that I went ahead and I really wanted to frame by and I wanted to layer something. So I took this and I cut it out completely. Now, I accidentally tossed, I think, I lost it. I lost it. I lost the outer frame. I just don't know where it is. I was looking for it and I couldn't find it, but I left the inner frame for you here to see. I wanted to show you all of them, but so this is the very tiny one. It cuts like this and it's not symmetric, which is I guess, a little um like hard for my brain. <laughs> I love symmetric. <laughs> so this is not symmetric, but it's really pretty. You could also, of course, cut everything off and just be left with this frame piece here. But um, also I cut this and they do pop out. It's not that they don't pop out, they do. But I wanted to leave them in. I actually just tried to push on that so they stay in because I really wanted um, half of the frame be like this um, and the other like in the corners because I might glue something on it or maybe not so I just wanted it to be different and this one is not symmetric as well as you can see so this is not symmetric I, I believe everything should go like that or they planned it like this I'm not quite sure but um, the holes here are different so it's not holes what do you call it i forget slit i guess it's just different it's um wider on one side and i'm um, not as wide on the other side but this is how the die is made so there is that and i took actually i didn't disconnect them i just ran them like this so this piece that i put up here in the background is actually the trash <laughs> that came out but it made another really pretty frame you know this was the space in between the dies that made this frame and i loved it i wanted you know i was looking do i put this one or the other one so the other one was too big and this one seemed too small and that was just the perfect size so i took this one and i put it in the back it's barely visible but it is there and i also found my pearl pen ba -bum! found my pearl pen and i went to town i don't know if you can see it but there is little pearl dots everywhere they're like here and on her dress and i made her a little what do you call it color maybe and i put it on the frame and i put it all around here so yeah everywhere <laughs> i went to town because i forget my pearl pen it's such a good pen it makes little pearls they are adorable they look like pearls let me make one for you 
oops of course you can make it better but can you see that it looks like a little pearl it's dimensional and it's very very pretty i could show you on here of course but they are so tiny here that i don't think you can the can fix them up and i don't think i made bigger ones anywhere i put some pearls flat back pearls on her dress as well so this is how she looks like and i think she is adorable but <laughs> and this is not because i lack um self-esteem or something I don't know how I feel about this part because it was so different in my brain, but it's getting better now. Once I was done, I was thinking, oh my God, that's not at all what I wanted. But, you know, it has been a day or two, two, I think. And my brain seems to get used to that, <laughs> that it was something different that I planned to do. But yeah, I had lots of fun. I love the paper pad. I really do. It's really, really, really pretty. The colors are different. Some of them are peach. Some of them are blue, you know, so there is, um, you can use a lot of colors. And I think it's perfect for shabby chic. The shabby chic that it is in my brain, you know, there is probably a different shabby chic in my brain. <laughs> but still, I'm liking it. I'm like yes i did that so i'm liking it i guess no it's getting better and why did i say it's not finished because this project i plan to be different because ta -da, this opens up <laughs> you see i did not finish this part yet i'm thinking about something um in particular this is pizza packaging by the way i just took off do i have anything here yeah so I keep it here at Kirkland from Costco. And it has this really pretty texture. You see that? I work a lot with that. So not even one pizza packaging in my house will be tossed ever. And everybody knows that. I harvest it. I cut it um, to size right away in my kitchen. And then I bring it in my room. And I have a certain spot for that. So all good. I, all I do is just rip this off there is a layer that you can actually get i'm not sure if i can see it now yeah i can come on little layer you see so there is a layer you can just rip it off and look at the texture you get there so perfect perfect and it doesn't um if i don't rip it off it starts to lose the shape a little but if i do rip it off it stays straight so I think it's better. That's why I rip it off. So once I um, continue, I do want to use another paper pad maybe because I did get a couple of them, right? I got three and um, like I said, I showed it all. And the, oh, this was from here as well. So I got two more, but they are all kind of the same color um, palette. So I'm thinking if I should use another one in um, the middle. And once I have done that, <laughs> I will come back and show you, of course. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Wow, the project chair was super long, like 15 minutes or something. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, I guess it came out okay. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it came out okay. And um, if you like it, Give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, of course. And yeah, leave me a comment down below. What do you think I should do different or what else is shabby chic? You know, because I'm learning. I'm just learning. So you guys enjoy your day. I might just start crafting now since I'm in my room. So I see you soon. Bye-bye.